Hello, my dear doctor. I would like to discuss a topic now that is liver disease. Liver disease, the word itself says liver damaged, damaged liver. So this liver damage or liver disease can be acute, can be chronic. Acute means the sudden onset within a few minutes to hours. And chronic means, yes, the hours, days, and sometimes the weeks to months, all right, something like that. So yes, my dear, listen very carefully. So let's talk about a little bit the liver disease. So before going to the liver disease and liver abnormality, so we need to look how this liver damage interrupting the liver function. So let's talk about the liver function first, which is called the clinical liver function. That will be helpful. So if I write the liver, it has the acute and chronic function. Acute function means that within a short period of time, the liver working and manifest his own functions and chronic means for a long term function. I'm saying the acute function of the liver is the most important function is the excretion means the bilirubin excretion from the body and maintaining the bilirubin within our normal range just remember that is 17 to 34 micromole per liter. So this is the acute function. Means within a very short time, the excretion of the bilirubin as well as they will maintain the bilirubin within this normal range. Yes, the bilirubin is the liver function. Second acute function is the liver is the liver enzymes that is we call the ALT L for liver ALT yes ALT to be maintained right the 0 10 to 40 international unit just write it down so in another unit this 17 to 34 micromole is nothing but 1 to 2 milligram per deciliter means one milligram equal to 17 micromole uh, two means the 34 micromole per liter yes so yes the 17 to 34 and after 40 is the ALT so is the liver acutely produce the bilirubin and ALT within this normal range yes acute function of the bilirubin as well as the ALT chronically liver Liver chronically producing means for a long time liver producing the two P functions. I'm saying P means the protein production, mm. means the protein synthesis. The most important part of the protein is albumin synthesis. And next P is stands on the prothrombin time, maintaining the prothrombin time. Within P for 15 seconds, just write it down. And here's once again the protein synthesis, albumin synthesis, just write it down, that would be helpful. 35 to 55 milligram per deciliter. Yes, once again. So my dear, listen very carefully, the, the thing that we have written here, that is really important. So this is the acute function box and this is the chronic function box. So once again, the liver acutely producing the bilirubin and ALT. So acute is an ALT and bilirubin, A and B. And chronic is a PP function. Yes, the summary talk, protein, and protomine time. So we can say the albumin, yes, once again, protomine time. 
And this protomin time is dependent on the vitamin K dependent factors, coagulation factors. And vitamin K dependent coagulating factors are 2, 7, 9, 10. So these are the things actually maintained within a normal range, P for, right, the protum in time, P for 15, all right, no problem. Albumin, albumin, yes, 35 to 55, 35, must remember, 35 to 55. And ALT is a 10 to 40, and as well as the 17 to 34 micromole per liter. Might have listened very carefully. If the liver, this is very important, if the liver is damaged, that is called the liver disease. Liver damaged or liver disease, damaged is caused by any of the factors we'll discuss. They can damage acutely, they can damage chronically. So, whenever we have the bilirubin ALT in the normal range and protein and protein time in the normal range, then we can think the liver is functioning good. But if there is a liver damage, there will be acute dysfunction and chronic dysfunction. And this leads to the bilirubin to be increased, ALT to be increased, albumin should be low because the protein synthesis increases, albumin will be low, and protein time will be increased. So once again, bilirubin increase means clinically we are getting jaundice. And albumin reduced, we are getting clinically at the bedside, that is leukonychia. So my dear, listen very carefully. If you see now, forget all them, if you see now jaundice, feel that this acute liver damage that has been happened. In terms of, as I said, this is the liver disease, we talk basically the liver cell damage. We talk about the liver cell damage rather than other things. Remember this one, what I'm saying, liver cell damage. Cell damage means cellular damage. So damage means, yes, once again, the, the bad side, we are getting a jaundice. So think that the hepatocyte damage acutely. In contrast, in the bad side, we are getting the leukonychia widening nails. Yes, we can see the chronic liver disease. So yes, once again, we will learn the long list of the features of chronic liver disease stigma at the peripherally, but the most important thing that you must remember might be the leukonychia. So having a leukonychia, yes, the diagnosis is done, that is chronic liver disease, remember. So whatever the features that you know, you must look the leukonychia first. If the leukonychia present, yes, think about this is hypoalbuminemia, Yes, the liver is functioning chronically reduced, so that leads to the chronic liver disease. So we can say this is acute liver damage or acute liver failure. This is chronic liver disease, the word that we can use, right? So this is very important discussion, my dear. The box. Yes. This is a very important discussion. So once again, the summary talk, the liver damage, hepatocyte damage, acute and chronic, acute bilirubin raised, ALT raised, chronic albumin low, means the leukonychia, hypoalbuminemia, and protrumin time is high. These four important investigations that we do, yes, to differentiate in between the acute and chronic liver dysfunction and damage. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell button to get more updates.